I grew up here. I've been surfing Rincon since I was this big. I learned here with my brother and my sister, my mom and my dad, and, and it's hard to articulate how wonderful it is. It's a perfect wave. It's beautiful. I mean, gorgeous view. It's really special. But we were always concerned growing up about the water quality. You know, with the septic systems, there's a lot of dirty runoff. So at the high tide, when there were storms, we were told not to go out surfing. As an engineer, I can tell you that a, a septic tank is not designed to operate in beach sand under the water table. It's just not going to provide effective treatment. I was kind of surprised how dirty it was up here. The surfers were getting sick. You know, we're kind of like the guinea pigs out here, I guess you'd say. Surfers are very dear to me. I love them. They are the canaries in the coal mine. We raised the money to do DNA of the Rincon Lagoon. The pollution problems was kind of an unknown at some point and figured out it was coming from the houses. And then the testing was done and it was human. The DNA testing that, that was done, I think really is convincing and, and showed that human coliform bacteria and other pathogens are living in this, in this creek environment. I remember then there was a meeting in the Carpinteria City Hall and all the people were there and surfers and I was invited to come as a homeowner and head of our association and if they'd had tomatoes they would have thrown them at me. They said, why are you polluting? And I said, I don't know if we're polluting but we certainly don't want to pollute and if there's a way to not pollute, we're all for it. It's, uh, it's a community that's very difficult to, to provide sewer service to, or I think we would have done it a long time ago. Geographically, it's 130 feet below our nearest sewer line. There's a very dense little group of home, beach homes here in Rincon Point, and the possibility of a gravity sewer system in here, a conventional gravity sewer system, just didn't, didn't make a lot of sense for a number of reasons. What Heal the Ocean did, we organized, we would find out the homeowner association and go to them and say, we can get you a sewer engineering study for $9,000. You throw in $1,000, we'll get the rest elsewhere. Surfers had surf contests to raise money to pay for those original engineering studies. You know, I think from a service provider, we had to find a, a solution that was, was different than, and perhaps unconventional. And a few years ago, they replaced the septic systems with an E1 all-terrain system. And it's, I mean, it's amazing. We go, we go out anytime now, we don't worry about it. The water doesn't smell like sewage when there's a, a rainstorm. And now I, you know, I take out my little cousins. And it's amazing. So we're really grateful and really proud that we were able to be a part of that big movement. All the surfers out here are really excited about it. Yay! We've got a septic-free rincon.